some news updates, if that's okay. One of them, I don't know if you heard this about El Salvador, you can watch an interview with Tucker Carlson, hidden warnings in El Salvador's president's speech. The president of El Salvador red-pilled the world about how the cabal criminals print money out of thin air. That was one thing he talked about. President Nayib Bukele, I don't know if I'm saying that right, his name is B-U-K-E-L-E, saved El Salvador. He may have the blueprint for saving the world. And then he shows pictures, Tucker Carlson does, of um, the M16 gangs that ran El Salvador. The photos above were captured in El Salvadorian prison that houses the many MS-13 gang members arrested under this president. Since taking office in 2019, President Bukele has a completely changed El Salvador, transforming it from the murder capital of the world to perhaps the safest country in the Western Hemisphere. Tucker Carlson asks him, how did you do it? Straight face, straight in the camera, he says, I prayed to God for wisdom. I want to serve the people. And then Tucker says, maybe other world leaders could learn from El Salvador's success. Tucker Carlson sat down with Bukele just days after being sworn in for a second term. Well, you can watch that interview by Googling it. On Sunday, June the 9th, while you were sleeping, something really big happened. The petrodollar comes to an end. Well, what's the big deal about that? Well, I'll explain it to you. Uh, in 1957, under the leadership of Henry Kissinger, the United States and the Federal Reserve approached Saudi Arabia and offered military support and protection and weaponry if they would use the United States fiat dollar for all the sales of oil coming out of Saudi Arabia. This, of course, expanded and gave the U.S. dollar great privilege and clout and even more dominance. On June the 9th, 2024, that contract expired 70 years later. And Bin Salman, well, I'll read this. Saudi Arabia is not renewing the 50-year petrodollar as it expires on June the 9th. For those who do not know, it was established in 1974 and three years later abandoned the gold standard. Under the petrodollar agreement, Saudi Arabia agreed to sell exclusively in U.S. dollars. Well, Bin Salman agreed to not re-sign that agreement. And so the U.S. petrodollar collapsed on Sunday. And that means the deep state lost their revenue source. Every country will now use their own money to buy oil. Here's some headlines. Thousands march in Geneva in opposition to the World Health Organization. Nigel Farage, he decides he's going to run the Reform Party in the UK. And there's a new leader in Dublin, Ireland today. The revolution, he says, has begun. Klaus Schwab retires. You think God's not active and busy with leadership? All around the world he is. Slovakian prime minister survives an assassination attempt. The prime minister of Belgium announces his resignation. Spain's center-right People's Party come out on top, winning the seats of the socialist-led government. Exit polls show the right-wing party in Italy is about to win. Right wing AFD in Germany is the strongest party outperforming all other parties. Rishi Sunak, he steps down and will probably lose his own seat. We are witnessing the changing of the guard worldwide. Macron dissolves the National Assembly in France after the disastrous defeat in the EU elections and calls for new legislation. Right-wing populist huge gains across EU. The European Parliament elections throws governments into chaos. The new world order sees the handwriting on the wall. People are waking up all over the world. The only thing that remains to be seen is what they're going to do to stop judgment from falling on them. You are witnessing the collapse of the European Union and NATO is next to collapse. That is just what Kim Clement prophesied in 2010. Italy, Austria, 
European Parliament, France, Belgium, Spain, Israel, Germany. Oh, wait, I think maybe some countries close to us are next. The other thing that happened is eight people resigned from Netanyahu's government. So, and these are his military guys from his war cabinet. Things are changing. Things are changing quickly right in front of our eyes. And the petrodollar collapsed on Sunday. All this happened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm not sure yet what happened today. I haven't got caught up. But if you think God is not moving, if you think God is not setting up kings and removing others, wake up. God is on the move. He's doing exactly what he has been prophesying for years and years and years. And it's happening on our watch. Continue to fast. Continue to pray. Continue to decree and get close to God. I love what that one intercessor said. She was wrapping up her prayer meeting. She's a lady I pray with for government leaders. And she was thinking of all the things she had to do that day. You know how her mind gets busy. And she's packing up her Bible and packing up her papers. And Holy Spirit said, linger with me a little longer. Tim's message, come close to Holy Spirit. Because he's the one that's going to lead and guide us into all truth and show us things to come. We've not been this way before. So let's stay close to the one who has the blueprints and the plan for going forward. Yeah? Amen. There's your news for today. I'm sure by next <laughs> Wednesday, a lot more things will change. And Jacintha, I was thinking this morning, you know, I haven't watched the news and I don't know how long. Now, that's not for everyone per se to do. I do like to tell our congregation shut off mainstream news they just do that it's just like you know i don't i don't watch the news off of mainstream media for the same reason i don't drink out of the toilet it might be water but you know that it's contaminated you know it that's what i tell my congregation and that's not for everyone to say either hold on say whoa sunny so um, I, I just want you to know, Jacinta, that I have, I'm something happened in my spirit this morning with all of your words. They, I just something a tracking mechanism went in with me with all of your words, and you have no idea how timely. Just the just praise God for His prophets. I mean, even the ones back there from ten year, died ten years ago, Bob Jones. Um, you know, um, and uh, Kim Clement, who died 10 years ago, I believe they both died in 2014.